While going through the week before an interactive novel, one excerpt in a book could tie back in what the amalgamated Mozart Freddy was doing before the kickoff of FNAF 6, with this excerpt being more intriguing when taking into account what we see in the FNAF movie. During night 6 of the week before, Ralph discovers the course of brown and light stuck into the inside of Freddy Fazbear's suit, with the man listening to a voicemail left behind by the now deceased woman. The message shows that Light was investigating Freddy's, and eventually discovered the possessed nature of the animatronics, as well as their plan to eventually escape the pizzeria. During one ending, we see what happens if the animatronics do escape, with them kidnapping children in a line leading straight to Ralph's house, where they end up attacking him in an effort to get to his daughter. Within the FNAF movie, we see both Mike and Abby staying the night within Freddy's, with the animatronics originally going to kill Mike before Abby's befriending of them, in which they become docile. However, towards the end of the movie, they end up pursuing and attacking Abby in an attempt to make her like one of them, information that was revealed to Mike by Vanessa. What they want with my sister? They want to make her like them. Interestingly, this is similar to what we see in the ending moments of the fourth closet, where Suji refers to the new children that Athen has kidnapped as new friends. Well, all this in mind, my theory is that after leaving from Michael's decayed corpse, Mulch and Freddy would likely kidnap children from their homes after leaving the sewers of Hurricane, killing their parents in the process, while all this being in a misguided attempt to make these children dress like them and their new friends. This will result in several disappearances in between the events of FNAF 3 and FNAF 6, with these kidnappings eventually getting the attention of Henry, who would lure the amalgamated bear to his pizzeria. On another note, this could also tie back to the fun times and their purpose, as William could have manipulated and taken advantage of the children's desire to make other children like them, with the combination of his potential promise of these newly kidnapped children becoming new friends, the use of the spring body suit, and the programming of the machines ultimately keeping the fun times in line.